Okay, I've downloaded uh, the MAMP package and I'm going to install it. So, double clicking on it. Hopefully, one of these days will boot up and it gives me the normal introduction installation. Just click continue. Uh, one thing to keep in note it's going to install two folders MAMP and MAMP Pro. Um, when you install this, it's going to put them in your applications folder, and they're going to actually be two subfolders called MAMP and MAMP Pro. And you kind of want to leave those alone, so just uh, be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead, click continue, and license agreement. Yeah, it looks good to me. Click continue. Say yes, I agree, and it's going to say it's going to take almost a megabyte, not a megabyte, gigabyte. And it's starting to write the files. about a minute remaining while this thing's installing just wanted to let you know the, these are some of my first tutorials so hopefully I'll get a little bit faster a little bit better as I'm doing these I'm hoping to keep them uh, down to no more than five minutes actually keep it down to a minute if possible so for this video all we're gonna do is install MAMP, make sure that it runs. Okay, it's been in and search for MAMP. And it's not showing up. I don't know what to do. There we go. Okay, it's Configuration MAMP Pro is installed. I recommend. And I'm going to say nope. I just want to run regular MAMP. So now I'll just start the server. Click allow. And there we go. Now, it may look to you like, wait a minute, we're back on the uh, MAMP website, but if you look up here, we're actually on the local host. So we basically have got an Apache uh, PHP uh, server running. Uh, by the way, I am not a technical expert, so it's very possible I'm going to get some terminology wrong and go ahead and leave some nice comments uh, for me. Anyway, uh, the next step will be downloading Moodle and getting that installed and we'll do that in the next movie.